Hey everyone, this is Mike Kramer of Mock Capital with a weekly check-in following CPI for the UK. Came in hotter than expected, rising um, at 8.7% year over year, 0.7% month over month. Both easily beat expectations. Core came in at 7.1%. Easily beat expectations and was also higher than last month's reading. So uh, certainly when you look at this data point, it certainly would indicate that the BOE is probably not done raising rates yet. And in fact, you're seeing this being reflected in the pricing by the market. Uh, the terminal rate right now is priced to rise to 5.96% by February of 24. It's also important as the market is increasing the bets that the BOE actually raises by almost 50 basis points tomorrow. It's obviously not a, a done deal because you can see the implied rate is a plus 32 basis points. So that would imply just a little bit more than 25 but certainly this is a big change from where you know markets had been expecting just a couple of days ago when they were seeing just maybe a 25 basis point rate hike so this data certainly increases the odds that you could get a 50 basis point rate hike tomorrow uh, and what we're seeing really taking place in the bond market is uh, very telling you can see that the front of the curve on the two years rising rather dramatically uh, back above the highs that we saw in uh, September uh, we're trading well above those levels now with the with the British two-year trading above 5%. When we look at the momentum on the British two-year, you can see that that has clearly been uh, positive and it's very strong. This would suggest that there's probably still further upside in the British two. Also, you can see your, your uptrend right here. So this makes a, a fairly complex uh, situation because clearly the BOE is going to have to continue to put upward pressure on rates but at some point how far do rates need to rise to get inflation down and what damage does that do to the economy and you, you can see that playing out through the gilt curve with the british two-year up 11 the 10-year up eight and the 30-year up eight and when you look at the 30-year on the uh, technical chart you can see that this did not surpass the uh, september and october highs yet and nor did the nor did the british 10-year and it's, it looks almost as if there's a a rising wedge pattern forming in the British 10-year, which would suggest that there's potentially a little bit more upside, but also the risk for a reversal and a move down seems to be forming. And one reason why this may be is because if they can, if the if the BOE continues to raise rates aggressively, what does that mean for the long-term growth prospects of the country? Given that it probably increases the odds of recession uh, and maybe even stagflation really beginning to hit hard on the economy. And this is something that we need to keep an eye on because if you continue to see rates on the short end rise much faster than that on the long end, or you were to even see the long end begin to break down, this will clearly be more of a recessionary signal and something that needs to be watched because that wouldn't obviously be good for the equity market. Um, but what you are seeing right now, again, is that there is potential for some further upside in, in the British two, tenure, and there's also potentially some room for further upside in the British two-year while you're watching your trend line here. When you look at the British pound, you can see that this initially rallied and then reversed hard against the U.S. dollar. Again, this is a, potentially a sign that um, the market is becoming a little bit more concerned about the potential for recession risk and is now beginning to look past um, the interest rate differentials uh, because clearly if you look at the U.S. two-year today that's uh, trading up as well but only by two basis points compared to a, an 11 basis point increase and one would expect that given that the rates in the in the U.K. are up substantially higher and the spread between the two are, is widening that you would see the pound strengthening but instead you're seeing the pound weakening um, and this is indicative of a market that perhaps is beginning to think about uh, recession odds. And so what this means is that we're watching support levels and resistance levels very carefully because if you were to break below 126 on the pound or this 126 region right in here, this would obviously set up a further drop to 125 or so. Meanwhile, if you can hold the support zone between 126, it increases the likelihood of moving back up towards 128. But it also probably indicates that if you're beginning to see the pound weaken, you're going to likely see the UK FTSE begin to weaken as well, because that's going to be indicative, again, of increasing recession risks due to high interest rates stifling the economy. And again, you can see here on the UK FTSE, there's a very, very nice downtrend in place. The RSI isn't quite oversold yet, so momentum has clearly turned negative for the index itself with the RSI trending lower. And you can see that the FTSE is basically um, 
continuing to just trace out along this downtrend after breaking through this flag pattern. And what's also interesting is that this morning, when the market initially opened, there was a big drop. We rallied sharply, rallied back, basically filled what would be, it looks like a gap. And um, now this sets up potentially the rest of the day because uh, with the index breaking below this support level from the morning at 73, 7573, it sets up a potential retest of the 7560 zone, which would then open up an opportunity to go all the way back to the lows of the day. Likewise, a takeout of the 7575 region increases the odds of going to about 7584 and at least hitting and testing this downtrend. But the problem again is that if you're watching how this market is trading, it might it might come back down to you know how is the how is the pound trading because if the pound continues to show signs of weakness against the dollar, this would likely be indicative of the market beginning to say that hey you know what all these rate hikes all the rate hikes and the damage that are being caused by high inflation and the BOE's need to raise rates is going to have a significant long term impact on the British economy. And that may actually turn out to be a negative for stocks, which may reverse a trend of higher rates, stronger currency. Stronger currency brings down uh, inflation. Stronger currency helps to um, increase earning power, which would be a positive for stocks. And that seems to be uh, potentially reversing today. At least this is a trend that you're going to want to watch and see if this continues to develop in the next few uh, days and weeks. Anyway, I hope this helps. Have a great rest of your day.